What's up guys, it's Geeks Corner here, and today we're doing an updated video on the watch faces for the Apple Watch. Now, if you watched our previous video, as you can probably remember, this is what the app looked like on the watch. However, it's now changed. So we're going to install the new version and we're going to open it up and we're going to show you what that looks like. So it's more now of a store. So we're going to ignore all this writing first of all. We're going to go over to the bottom right hand side and you've got a picture of the user. And on this screen then, it's going to have your name and your password. And you've got the two buttons there. Now the first one is the registration and the other one is submit. So we're going to click on the red one first to register. So then once you press the red button, you're going to put in your name, your email, and create a password as well. And then you're going to press the green button. Okay, and once you've done that, then you're going to tap into the middle store up here. I'm just going to browse, and this is one I was looking at earlier. So once you tap the store icon, this will be the first thing you see. And here you can actually purchase some watch faces. Uh, some obviously are free as well, so they've got the prices if they charged and then they freeze. So we're just going to pick this one, for example, and we're going to wait for that to load up. And there it's got the images, and then you tap the green one, and it goes into your purchase library there. Now, we've already done that. So once you've tapped on it, you're then going to go over to your purchase history here, and you can sometimes need to pull to refresh, but these are all the ones I've installed already, and these are all free. And then you need to have your watch face active as well so you can see i've got the green one here and you just need to tap on one whilst your watch face is active as well so i've tapped on the orange one as you can see it's changed now now sometimes when the screen is off it's not going to show uh, it's a little bit awkward to do this one-handed unfortunately but there you go as you can see it's now changed so then simply to go back in to have a look at the other ones you can go back into the store you're going to be stuck on the screen here so you just press the red one to get back and then you can browse through again. So there you go, guys. I hope you found that useful. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.